Well, welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are doing really, really well. If you guys are new to this channel, my name's Trisha. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and join my journey. But if you guys have turned to you, and then welcome back. <laughs> I've just yeah <laughs> just just don't worry about that part but I'm gonna try and film it as much as possible in my other um, house tour um, I had someone actually filming my husband was doing it so it was much easier so when I have to do it on my own I it's a bit harder but I'm still gonna show you guys this is more of a realistic obviously a few things are tidy and neat but a lot of the rooms are not finished to how I want it to be so um yeah there's still bits and bobs to be done but i want to bring you guys with me on that anyway i just want to clarify this is not a house that we bought we did not buy this house we are renting this house just want to tell everyone that just just before anything so we are renting this house it's a two bedroom flat that could have potentially been free i'll explain that all to you guys in a minute but um yeah i'm just going to show you guys it's just realistic um, there's still bits and bobs that I don't know if I want there, if I don't want there, things that I want to get changed, things that it's not 100% how it's meant to be but I just want to just show you guys and stop like, you know, trying to find a perfect moment, it's never going to be a perfect moment, I've got two under two babies so yeah it's never going to be a perfect moment to film, my house is always going to be a crazy ass, this is potentially the neatest you'll see it. Um, just before my son comes from nursery and everything is chaotic again. So yeah, let's get straight away start with you guys, start this video. Um, I won't be in the video, um, I don't think, because it'll be hard to do so. But yeah, let's show you guys the house. So when coming in, this is where you come from. So this is our front door right here. We've got a door right here on this side, which is, and I'll show you guys now, it's like the laundry area. So this is where I got, look at the mess. Look at the mess, guys. This is my so we have like bed sheet in there, um, towels, baby towels, all of that. This is all clean clothes that need to be ironed. That is my washing machine and it's also a dryer, which is amazing. This is all our dirty clothes. That's all our shopping bags. It's just chaotic and up there it's just things that we don't really use and we just take out when we need. But look at the mess, guys. Like if you guys have any tips of how I can keep this organised, every time I organise it, it just gets deorganised straight away. I do have like these containers. Oh, let me turn the light on actually. I have these containers where I put my like things inside, but like I can't even have it on show because it's just chaotic in here. I'm still trying to figure out how to keep it neat and tidy. It's a bit hard, but I'm so blessed I've got this like little area that I can just literally have with like the messy stuff that no one really sees. If you guys remember before, like I always had this on show upstairs. It was it was pretty annoying. So yeah, I'm so glad that I can have that there. Um that's it let's turn off the light in this room and then so the door is there and then i still have my little thing that i had upstairs <laughs> still the same um a little cute little thing oh look at the little key room we got from when we went to see life it's pretty cute and then here is my basically like entrance we've got the mirror which my father-in-law husband done it a bit too high i would have preferred it a bit lower because i can hardly see myself like I can just literally see my head but yeah and that is me high like if i put it at the same level as me this is what i see so yeah but anyways moving forward um this is the same um cupboard that we had upstairs but it was in the sitting room i already had that picture i got this little jog thing and stuff from amazon which i found pretty cute got my little bubbers here um, my little flash and then we were gifted with this beautiful little like personalized frame thing from a friend so it was beautiful and that was my sister that gave me that little candle but yeah this is pretty much it i keep like um cups and stuff in this sort of like cupboard area so this is what it is the little corridor and if you turn that up that um way so if you're turned my way on your right is the sitting room that's baby's room that is one of the toilets and then that is our master bedroom but baby girl is sleeping right now in there so i will try and leave that room for a bit later because i don't want to wake her up but let's go into the bathroom this is potentially my favorite room right now because it's kind of the one that's 
kind of finished and I completely done it. So this is my toilet. This is my bath. I got this from B&M, guys. By the way, everything that's here is pretty much B&M or Amazon. Um, so this is our bath. We've got the little sticker thing there because um, one of Santiago's toys actually goes on there because they obviously have baths here. Then this is my bathroom. As you guys can see, pretty much everything we got is from B&M, guys. Just letting you guys know. But who decorated this? I can't literally get any credit for it. It was my sister. She literally put everything together. I just literally bought the stuff. And she came in and she just, like, done the whole thing, which was pretty cute. And then we have this. Whoever can remember, we also had it upstairs. And it, like, lights up, which is so good, like, when you want to do makeup and stuff like that. And then it actually opens and you can put stuff on the inside. So, um, yeah, it's pretty cute. This is one of my bathrooms. I had this, if you guys remember remember in my little box corridor upstairs and now I put it in the bathroom I had a grey one in the bathroom which is now in the kids room but I'll show you guys that now so this is my bathroom which I absolutely love keep on walking this way I'm gonna show you guys the closet so I actually have a walking in closet this is the room that I said that potentially could be a third room but they didn't make it because it doesn't really have a window it has a tiny window back there but not actually in the room we have like all our cleaning stuff in here for now this room is not finished at all there's still everything everywhere um i do want to like decorate it make it very like me in here but we still have lots of little stuff everywhere as you guys can see got all my clothes here this wardrobe is actually from amazon amazon oh my gosh from ikea so sorry about that guys um but yeah like this bag we need to basically get rid of because it's broken um yeah this is like my little closet sort of area but i do want to like do a little decorative wall here i want to do a lot of my videos and tiktok videos in here but for that i need to i really want to organize it and then this empty wall right here i want to do something for it as well and i'm not sure yet i might get rid of this and actually get just a mirror there i'm not sure yet as well but yeah this is definitely needs a big change in here it's like super messy and unorganized but my clothes is not unorganized it's just this part here because i got a delivery from boohoo i need to pack all of this away um but apart from that everything's pretty organized and set and once again my sister done it so she gets all the credit for it again um but yeah this is um this part next to my closet you have got please do not mind this this is me i have to do a video for tiktok so i've got these bags here on the side and then here is my sitting room plus kitchen so it's both together i'm going to try and go from the back and then if you guys remember i had the exact same um um what do you want to call these i don't even really know wardrobes not wardrobes i don't even know but i had both of the same upstairs as well so we basically done it the same so that's even's area that's my area and then flash has got his little corner here as well bless his cotton socks he does use the garden and walks to go pee and things like that but we do leave this here just in case for when we're not home and stuff um and then this is my sitting room and my kitchen um this mat i actually bought because santiago was so poorly so he stayed home with me and i just found it was more safe to put him and to put the baby and stuff like that but to be fair i might actually keep it here i actually do kind of like it here um so i might just leave it i don't know i'll see how i feel about it and then that table coffee table we do want to get rid of it it was actually here in the middle but we just don't like it we don't think it goes anymore with like the sitting room and stuff but we're just keeping it there for now because around here you can't really just dash things in the bin someone has to actually pick it up or we can take it to my mom's area um because the company always goes there i think on like a monthly basis and picks up stuff like this so um we'll see what we would do and then i've got my little plants here that are growing so well because there's so much sunshine and light and i'm so happy Look at the little um first birthday thing they done for Santiago at nursery it's so cute like I just can't get rid of it I don't know where to put it in the room so I just left it here it's just so sweet um we I absolutely love this stand that basically I'm not going to go too close because it's showing my address but that's just like important letters of bits and bobs that we have to do so I just leave it there so it reminds us we've got a computer here that we don't freaking use so we need to find a place for that as well and this is our sofa right we are not happy with the sofa we wanted something much more comfy um but it's really hard to find a sofa that fits here and it's not too big and not too small 
and yeah for now we're just keeping it but hopefully by next year because we've spent money on this we don't really want to you know throw it away even though i was going to give it to one of my aunties um but for now we're keeping it because you know i'm on maternity financially you know we need to take a chill <laughs> and then this is my kitchen i've absolutely loved the fact i hate the fact that there's not a place for the bin i have to definitely say that it really bugs me like there's nowhere like optional where i could put the bin so i have to leave the bin there normally i have it on top of this mat but for some reason it's there now it doesn't really matter let's forget about that but this is i've always really wanted um my kitchen with my sitting room and i know a lot of people don't like that like my mother-in-law actually hates it but i actually quite like it because it gives me an opportunity to be with the kids at the same time cooking i don't have to have them in a separate room upstairs was really hard especially when santiago started to crawl i had to constantly have him on the high chair and he used to get him so upset so um yeah this is really nice he can still like flow i'm not like actually let me show my face while i'm saying this because but I don't really like keeping children locked inside those like play tent, tent things. I'm not a big fan of them. Um, I just don't personally, it's not a, like a thing or nothing. It's just, I personally don't like it. I just like to him to explore, to see what I'm doing. You know, it is much more stressful for me, but I just prefer it that way. So I might change my mind, who knows? With Letty, she might be a bit more, you know, <laughs> but um, for now, yeah i just prefer it like that um i actually have my phone on here because i was just about to film a tiktok but i'm not doing that right now um but yeah this is one of my favorite things in the kitchen you guys are gonna think i'm so weird but look how cute this is forget the plastic bottles you got something to wash your hands with and to put your washing up soap how amazing is that and then I've got my what makes my lovely coffees and then Evan's mum had this frother that she actually didn't ever use so she gave it to us how lucky we are I like, use it for the first time today and let me tell you the coffee tasted a thousand times better guys this bottle so cute B&M by the way it's glass as well I mean to like very like glass things and trying to keep away from plastic and stuff and that was my husband that came and had lunch lunch ish breakfast I left this cup there of course and this is my baby boy's chair as you guys know that's the fridge these are just the cupboards i do have much more places to put stuff here that's the sterilizing the bottles thing that's the only problem when you have everything together is that everything has to be in one place and then it just is a bit too much by the way i did get this mat from amazon in case anyone like might want it or whatever it's i've just noticed something is really bugging me and you guys are going to be like what is it can you guys notice that the top layer that one there has the things different to these two have you noticed that that is bugging me and i'm gonna have to change that i never noticed that until today how mad is that anyway and then this part is obviously i still have the same dining table this was a cute little gift that we got as well from one of my colleagues the costa family i just found it so cute my mom also gave me this she won this in like some party thing she went to and she gave it to me and i was like it's so cute to put with fruits i got this from amazon and these roses i've literally had for like nearly three weeks and look how beautiful they still look amazing 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 and then i kept this right i didn't want to keep these two things but i needed something to still have the tommy tippy machine in it we have a few alcohol there's and like breakfast stuff there like i said still a bit unorganized this as well with all like the bottles and stuff but i needed a space to put these stuff and it actually doesn't look that bad because at the end of the day having a kitchen and a sitting room together that's basically what happens um but yeah it is pretty big it is massively spacious for us we are so happy with it but let me go and i'm watching selling sunset guys i love this i love this series if you guys haven't watched it go and watch it it's really good now let's go to the most fun part and the part that i most enjoyed which was decorating my baby's rooms room and then we're going into this one and this is my baby's rooms so right before anything this was meant to be a master bedroom okay so through that door there was actually a toilet um i'll show you guys that now but this is their room so so much empty walls but this is the toilet let me show you guys this is basically their bathroom so i keep all their stuff in there obviously once they're older they can have showers 
this is where they will probably have their showers all the time we did still keep that little bath thing even though we didn't really need to keep it but whenever i want and i just want to give her a bath and stuff and using here or even wants to like have a bath but i need to give it to her whatever we still have the option to use that so I just left it. It's not bothering anyone. And it's actually quite good as well for maybe like summertime when it's really hot. And you can use it as a swimming pool in the garden. So I just kept it. But this is basically their bathroom. They've got the exact same things as us. Um, it doesn't really change much. It's just a bit smaller and obviously it doesn't have a bath. Um, but then they have basically the same sort of things. I do want to get something there to put basically their tissue rolls. Um, and it's quite good because guests still use this bathroom as well. And I've got all their Nala products there. i got a little flower thing there and then they've got their little towels just hanging there as well and then this is their bedroom this is my favorite room of the entire house it's a bit dark because the lights are on let me turn the light on so this is their bedroom Flash is over there enjoying his sister's map which i'm going to kill him for um but this is what it is so let me start with how i decorated it so we got these two bookshelves again this is all like my sister's input so i have to give her all the credit i just bought the stuff so this side from top you, you can see all santiago's little bits and bobs there this is all santiago's little things and then each of them have got this like little tray with like their dummies and stuff like that which makes life so much easier when you're on the go this is what they've got if you know and if you're portuguese you will know your mums always need to have some sort of like little Thing to show their religion and stuff so my mom got this one for santine blue and that pink one for leticia but this is like his sort of area so it's like his age of books his age of toys even though her toys were all his but i kind of took away all the toys that basically he's not interested in or it's just not challenging anymore for him and i basically put it on her side so like this has got blocks in there the blocks that they signed on his baby shower and then here he's got cars in here he's got all balls this is a little thing that i got basically that you click and it says what the card is got that from tiktok shop in here is just like bits and bobs that don't really go anywhere but he absolutely loves and it's quickly just to take to the sitting room all his books this is his books that he's obsessed with so any book that i realize he's gaining a lot of interest in i put it here so he can find it easily but let me tell you he still is interested in the gruffalo and i've got like this is more like a easier version and then he's got his like proper version that everyone signed um on his first birthday which is so cute because that was his theme the gruffalo and then down here he's got like puzzles um and things like that and legos and then this was the great thing that i meant that i had in my um toilet upstairs and now i'll put it in the room here but it's literally empty empty doesn't have anything i might put it in my closet i don't know where to put it yet so i just left it there and then up here he's got like small world sort of toys with train tracks animals things like that and then we get here to leticia's side so she's missing her little picture i actually need to order it but they've got basically the same thing so like my first curl my first tooth things like that the only thing that she's missing that he has is that name thing so i need to try and find it on amazon again but this is it like they've got their both got their teddy with their heartbeat um and then they both got this that one of even's aunties gave to them and then basically she's got the same thing the dummy things and then just toys that are just age appropriate for her so she's got like these little wood animals these a bit of legos for her as well uh, there for a second but yeah this is like all the books obviously there were santiago's but i just think they're not as challenging for him anymore or he just doesn't show interest and then obviously like i was saying this tray is um like a little treasure basket tray where i just take out and sometimes put it in the same room and things like that in here there's just like bits and bobs again that don't have any pairs but just going here like i've got all these like sensory sort of stuff in there and then again this which i had to take the balls away because since you well, not Santiago, but flash kept getting them which was really annoying um so yeah this is like their little corners so be cute by the way i got this from sd um if you guys are interested just like let me know if you guys are interested in anything dm me comment and i'll let you know where everything's from um and then he did get this little like scooter thing which is so cute because he can literally use it until he's older like this becomes like the front bit for him to it was such an amazing buy so thank you to who gave me this one of my colleagues at work so cute and then this is 
the area of like their basically room so this is Santiago's cot this is Santiago's and Letty's one is going to go there but right now because Letty is still sleeping with me I use basically this area for like soft play and area for her so she still has a little area in the bedroom but just not a bed we've got like a little basket in there with like blankets and just cute little things for her which is so sweet and then here's like all their soft toys which is mainly all just Santiago's but look how cute they each got like their own little like pink and blue bunny so cute um but yeah this is like also an area where Santiago can come and be with us got little toys for him here as well um and just yeah this is just and it's so cute because I've got them a blue pillow and a pink pillow it's just just it's just cute so this is the her little area and this is his sleeping area so we're planning on getting another cot or she might stay with his cot and I want to get a very low Montessori bed for him and honestly they are out of stock everywhere it's driving me crazy um so hopefully after summer when we come back we'll be able to get that for him fingers crossed and then she can go into this cot and then they both had this um i just put santiago's one out at the moment but leticia's also got one in pink which my sister got for them which is really cute and right now his favorite his little gruffalo is so cute because when he wakes up in the morning he doesn't even cry i can just hear him like talk and mumble <laughs> to the gruffalo and to like his lion and his christmas and tiago and then obviously the owl which has always been his favorite thing to sleep with and then i got his name on this beautiful little like string thing and letty's got the same one as well to be fair but i just put it on her little play mat for now and then this area is still got the changing unit which comes in so handy for letty to put her there right now she's not rolling over but to put her there sometimes but mainly i put her in here anyway but to change her and things like how our santiago plays it's just honestly with two babies it works really well i know a lot of people say this is a waste but this has never been a waste for me i used it so much with santiago and with letty i'm literally using it all the time as well every day then in here this used to actually be our um um bedside tables which is so funny um but now i have one here and then um one in my bedroom on either side you guys will see the room after when lady wakes up and then up here we just have the little egg that i put to know the temperature of this room the little um screen for the camera a little rainbow thing that was actually a toy but we lost all the little pieces for them here thanks to this dog that cho chewed them up um so i just use it as decor normally it's actually here but um i don't know why it's over there and then we've got a little star that clicks and makes light this was actually santiago's gender reveal little star because it was like twinkle twinkle little star and that was actually his first word which is so cute then in here got all the like little products got the nappy bin again a lot of people say it's a waste it's not for me at the moment and then i have these two frames here which is so funny i was both gift i was gifted them both uh, when i was pregnant of santiago but it's like it was destiny because like now i can use one for santiago and one for letty and exactly the same how mad is that i've got santiago's all his pictures but i don't have letty's ones yet of course so i need to actually print it out and put that there and then in here is all letty's so at the top bit is where all the nappies and stuff are kept and then this is all letty's clothes here and the bottom is all Letty's clothes as well. So this is basically hers for now. Then I've got their own, they've got their own laundry basket. I prefer it like that so much um, because I like to wash their clothes separately now. They don't get washed in mine and even as I use different products, different everything to them for them so they've got their own little laundry basket and it just makes life so much easier. In the mornings dressing them, you just dash it oh, Honestly, I highly recommend for people to do that if you want your life much easier oh here i am and then this um basically is santiago's wardrobe um this is where he keeps all his stuff so long story short they were meant to have that wardrobe so it's a like built-in wardrobe for both of them but but this little wardrobe was meant to be part of my closet, but even measured it wrong and there was too big for it as well. So it basically didn't fit there. And then at first we was gonna get rid of it, but then it just looked perfect in this room. At first I didn't really like the idea, but then I was like, mm, I love it. So he's got all his shoes down there, which this actually needs to go on the actual wall and you can drag it in and out, but I haven't done that yet. And this is all his sort of stuff here. 
which has just come in so handy, honestly. And then we just bought the doors to go with it. So I just said to him, buy a mirror door because it's really good for their development and stuff to always see themselves, see their emotions, expressions and things like that. So we bought one because I wanted an area to have a mirror anyway. And I thought, why not just have it in the closet? It just makes much more sense. And then this is Letty's little um closet with all her stuff she's got all um his and hers blankets at the moment there so it only came with this pole but i got an extra pole from amazon and i just put all her clothes that's all her shoes there as well and then my favorite part is all her collection of her bowls look how cute this is guys this is from amazon as well um this little like bo boohoo boho boohoo whatever it's called little thing all her bowls and then after here you can clip um little bowls as well like the little clippy ones but i don't have any yet so um because she doesn't have much hair <laughs> so i just put all her basically um things on that and then i still got the mixed uh, mixed tiles um pictures to put up i'm not too sure where i'm going to put them as you can see this room has got so much empty wall everywhere so i don't know where to put the pictures they've got all of that it's got all of that empty wall up there as well like there's so much empty wall in here so i don't know where to put them but i will find a place to put them follow me on tiktok because that's where i'm going to show you all these like little bits and bobs i'm going to do around the house so follow me there if you want to see how that's going to turn out and you can go there and see what pictures i actually got that's already posted and then look at this mat guys this is a beautiful like rug slash mat I did want to get some rugs for the room, but with experience, as I work with children, they're going to go through potty training stage, right? And Santiago hopefully will start that next year. And this is just perfect, even though it's really annoying because it gets very, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it gets very like marked with like my dog's paws. If we stand on it, even with slippers, it leaves the mark, but it's such good, thick quality, like so good quality. They do have different patterns on the site. I'm going to see if I even remember where the site is. But it does get quite damaged. Just be careful with where you put it. Because look, it can get quite damaged. Um, but it's just amazing quality. I absolutely love it. Down there, they've got their travel bags that my sister like, fought such a head. And she bought them like cute little travel bags, which is so cute. Um, but yeah, so that's basically their room. But I need to show you guys features in this room that... Is amazing yes both rooms do lead to the garden which I'm going to show you guys now I actually need to go and water my plants as well so I'll do that all together but look at this so not only does this room lead to the garden both rooms lead to the garden but look what both rooms have as well we have got a skylight guys what the hell like when I first saw this feature in this house I was like what We've got a skylight, even though when it's sunny, you do need to keep it closed because the room gets extraordinarily hot, like to an extreme. But look how cute that is. They won't appreciate it now because they're babies, but once they're older, they're going to absolutely love that. I'm telling you. But look how cool that is. It's so nice. Let me close that because it's going to get too hot and I want Santiago room to be cool for when he goes to bed. But that's it, and now let me show you guys the garden. This is our garden. Don't mind these drinks, they're still here from Santiago's birthday. We've actually got a whole freaking thing of drinks. Like, we over-exaggerated on drinks, but it's okay. My birthday's coming up, no worries. And then we've got the lovely Gruffalo that we can't get rid of because Santiago loves it. This was up on his birthday as well. Got some washing out, this is my reality. Got the long little holes here to water my plants, which I actually need to water them today. And then we have this little tent up that was up from St. Diego's birthday because it was raining. But I am going to put it down. I'm just waiting because um, I'm having like a little surprise thing for his mum um, for her birthday. And we need this up because if it's really sunny, it's going to be during the day. And then, you know, we don't want to be booming the sun. So quite a few women coming. So, yeah, so this is their like, little. So that's our bedroom. And I'll show you guys after, like I said, baby got sleeping. So I don't want to disturb that. But this is like their little area. Um, this is like their water little station. This is what St. Diego got for his birthday from everyone which i'm so thankful he hasn't really gotten to use it yet one he's not walking and not only that but two um he has been so unwell since his birthday every week this boy's got something that right now he's got a cold but hope, thankfully he doesn't have a temperature or anything so he's going to nursery but he's literally been sick every day um it's got a little swing as well that chair is there because my father-in-law was actually chilling here yesterday and obviously come on men never put things away because my husband was right there and he didn't put it away either so um it's really really hard to show you guys this the 
garden like this but that's our little table um which should be covered don't know why it even hasn't covered it yet but anyways and then we've got our little like sun umbrella i don't know what they're called sun umbrella i don't know umbrella to open up if it gets too sunny and then this is my little garden thing i've got my look little rose is growing there and look how beautiful this this one was like closed up just the other day and look how beautiful it looks already that is our dead but i think we we watered them and i think they're surviving because this one kind of re opened so let's see if not i'll just have to change that one and then got another one had to wash that because it was dirty but that's normally at the front of our door and then here is another thing where roses grow but no rose has grown on this one yet as well it's i think an orange one no yellow there so let's see how that goes but yeah this is our garden we've got another little thing full of stuff in here and then in here is our little barbecue but yeah we are so fortunate to be able to have such a massive garden guys um to live in london in a city is already expensive and to actually be able to have such a mahusive garden at first i wasn't really impressed because it, it led to the bedrooms and then everyone that has to come to the garden has to come to the bedroom but it's actually not that bad but yeah guys this is my garden so i hope you guys like that guys our bedroom i just have literally princess on me so you might hear her like wind your moan but here is our bed here is evan's closet love this little thing i got from bnm so cute put a little pillow there and a little quote all in here it's just my sort of bits and bobs for like makeup and things like that all unorganized obviously got the little sides cut here for baby girl that's our garden so the other side of the door flash also has his sleeping little resource there got a little mat here for when people come from the garden and then this is the same wardrobe that was upstairs and then that's a little setup at the top so cute i love this got this from amazon but if you guys can remember my flap says this was always so packed of stuff but now because we've got so much more room it's so amazing and we can literally just have it like opened and like so airy with nothing on top and then yeah this is our bedroom we also have the skylight here guys i'm not gonna open it because it's so hot in this room right now because of the fact that the sun is booming right there and it gets really hot i'll probably say definitely that's the downfall of this whole house and then we've got our tv up we was actually not going to put the tv up but we're actually happy we did because i get to enjoy it in the evenings like when letty's sleeping and stuff i just get to watch my things here while even's in the sitting room doing his little bits and bobs but i'm actually going to open the door a little bit because it's so hot in here and maybe if we open the door a bit of fresh air will come in and air this room out but yeah guys this is our blood so guys i really hope you guys enjoyed that video you guys finally get to see my flat my house whatever you guys want to call it you guys were asking me so much every day about it and then it was honestly it's just so busy to get everything done and organized but i was like Do you know what there's no point waiting for that show you guys how it is and then you guys can just follow me on my process and on my journey of what is basically left to be done but yeah now i'm gonna go feed this little munchkin so she's been sleeping for about two hours or something she's definitely gonna need a feed but yeah guys thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and yeah guys follow my journey follow our journey and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys